Hello, uh, my name is Nick Carpenter and today I'm here at Dorks Music trying um, the Daddario, the range of Daddario Reserve mouthpieces. I've already done a few videos uh, comparing and contrasting um, mouthpieces from that range, but I thought it might be useful if I just did a short video um, explaining wh what I'm looking for uh, um, when I try mouthpieces myself. Um, the first thing that I think it's important to say is that when you are trying mouthpieces, it is important to use uh, the same reed. Um, so you have a, a, a cons there's some level of consistency um, between mouthpieces. I would also suggest that you use a newish reed so that that particular reed hasn't uh, shaped or formed itself to the mouthpiece that you use all the time. Um, so, uh, understanding those two points, um, what am I looking for when I'm uh, looking for a mouthpiece? First of all, I want something that responds easily, that doesn't um, uh, require me to kind of change the shape of my embouchure to, to, to make the sound I want. So it's got to feel comfortable in my mouth. Different mouthpieces have different shaped, uh, different angled um, beaks, different shaped beaks. Um, you need to find one that is comfortable. Um, Secondly, I suppose I'm looking for a mouthpiece that enables me to produce um, the, 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 the tone that I have in my head, the tone that I want to produce. Um, some mouthpieces will, will, will tend to be slightly brighter, some will be darker, um, some will have a, um, a very sweet sound, some will be a slightly woodier, warmer sound. You've got, you've got to decide what you like. Uh, then I'm looking for how the mouthpiece will respond. Will it enable me um, to produce a really big sound, but still enabling me to retain some tonal warmth? Something. And yet the same mouthpiece needs to be able to enable me to um, play the, 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 the softest, controlled pianissimo. I need to be able to articulate cleanly um, some mouthpieces you find will really enable that clean articulation. Um, some you might find that more difficult. Um, and uh, all the time, all the time, I'm looking for, for, for the mouthpiece that enables me to produce the sound that I want. Finally, I suppose I'm looking, I'm, I'm thinking about intonation. Mouthpieces are manufactured to different pitches. For instance, there are some of the Daddario range that are manufactured at to kind of what we call European pitch, A equals 442. Some of them are manufactured to the more American UK pitch, A equals 440. Um, and some mouthpieces, they uh, because of the, the internal dimensions, they give different um, characteristic, they have different characteristics with regard to intonation. So these are, all, these are all the different things. So when I try a mouthpiece and I think, oh, I quite like the feel of this one, I will then probably get my tuning machine out and see how that responds with the tuning machine. Um, lots and lots of different things. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite a time consuming process. I find it, I, I love it. I'm always feel like a child in a sweet shop when I'm confronted with a range of mouthpieces. I find it really exciting things to do. It's quite enjoyable, it takes time. Um, and also, do do um, uh, do remember that when you are trying mouthpieces, um, what initially might feel not quite so comfortable as what you're used to, you can very very uh, quickly adapt and change. Um, I'm not talking big changes, but very subtle changes. Um, so lots to think about. Um, as I say, I think it's great fun. Um, I hope. Uh, this video has uh, encouraged you to go and try some go and try some mouthpieces yourself. You know, if you're looking to develop your sound or looking to change aspects of your playing, um, mouthpiece is always a good place to start. And as I've said earlier, I would really highly recommend the Daddario Reserve range. Um, they're beautifully made, very good quality material, and a great place to start. I hope that's helpful.